Let's look at disease. Disease is a state of disorderliness in the body. And these disorderliness are caused by germs, which are called causative agents or pathogens. As already introduced, disease is a disorder in the body due to infection of germs or microorganisms. These germs that cause diseases are referred to as causative agents or pathogens. Let me point out that it's not every disease that is caused by germs. Some are due to fatigue or misuse of the body. But those caused by germs are usually caused either by fungi, protozoa, bacteria, or viruses. So if it's, a, if it's caused by a fungus, become a fungi disease, as you find in athletic food and ringworm. Ringworm is that growth on the skin. Uh, find children that, that are not uh, well kept. You see their head. The hair will be falling off with rings on their head. That is ringworm. It's caused by a particular fungus. Then protozoa cause a lot of diseases, like amoeboid disease is caused by Etamoebae uh, amoeba. Then we have malaria caused by plasmodium. Then trypanosomiasis, which is sleepy sickness. In, in uh, cattle, we call it uh, nagana. Some are caused by protozoa, as you find in amoeboid dysentery, caused by uh, Entamoeba histolytica. They will have Malaria caused by plasmodium, that is malaria parasites, or trypanosomiasis, another name for sleepy sickness, or, or, or nagana, as being called in cartoon, in case of cartoon. Now, there are others caused by bacteria, and these are bacterial diseases, e.g., what we call tuberculosis cholera, dysentery, and so on. Then we have viral diseases caused by vi uh, viruses. Example is measles, chicken pox, influenza, or the one they commonly call uh, catar, and so on and so forth. So these are uh, what you call diseases. And diseases, you have to know the causative agents and how it's being spread. Some of them are being spread by vector, and a vector is Another organism that transfer these causative agents from one organism to the other. So they spread, they help in spreading disease, diseases by transferring the germs from one person to another. Let us look at some examples of this topic. Example one, dracoculiasis can be contacted through A. Bathing in contaminated water, B. Bite by black fly, C. Eating contaminated food, D. Drinking contaminated water. Now, for you to answer this question, you must know this very disease. This disease is referring to guinea worm. Guinea worm. Dracoculiasis, a worm contacted through contaminated water. So this very disease is contaminated by drinking contaminated water. So answer is D. Example two, exoerythrocytic phase of the life cycle of malaria parasite occurs in the A. Malpigian tubules of mosquito B. Brain of human C. Liver of human D. Reticuloendothelia of human Now, this word exo means outside 
erythrocytic phase outside erythrocyte. So it's outside the red blood cell, the phase of the of malaria parasite, that plasmodium, outside uh, the red blood cell, erythrocyte. You know that this plasmodium, after being injected into man's blood, it undergoes series of developmental stages in the liver before returning to the blood and uh, get uh, the blood poisoned through its toxin. Now, it cannot be in the mapigian tubules of mosquito. This is a uh, structure of mosquito. It's not in the brain of man. Actually, the plasmodium, when it's sucked by mosquito, Anopheles mos the female Anopheles mosquito, uh, the, the, the germ goes into the brain of the, of the mosquito to develop in the salivary gland before coming out again. Now, actually, the stages of development is, ma is mainly in the liver of uh, in the human liver. So, the answer to our question is C. C, answer number two. Example three. The vector of the malaria parasite is a A, male coolest mosquito, B, female coolest mosquito, C, female Aedes mosquito, and D, female Anopheles mosquito. We need understanding of the vector that transmits plasmodium, which is the, the malaria parasite. We know that it is the female mosquito that feeds on human on blood. That's one blooded uh, animal's blood. So all the one that has male is gone. So A is out of it. Now we have the three species of mosquito here: Culex, Aedes, and Anopheles. Culex transmits a filaria that causes elephantiasis. So it cannot be cooler that is transmitting malaria. It is transmit a virus that causes yellow fever. So it is cannot transmit malaria parasite. So the answer, the vector that trans, uh, the vector of malaria parasite is female Anopheles mosquito. D now serves as our answer. We are given a set of diseases to use to answer question 4. The diseases are onchocerciasis, schizosomiasis, salmonellosis, and meningitis. Onchocerciasis is also known as river blindness. River blindness is caused by a filaria known as Okusaka vulvulus. The germ is transmitted or is spread, is being spread by black fly. This black fly lays egg in fast flowing water. This fast flowing water is necessary to provide oxygen for survival of the eggs. Schizosomiasis is caused by schizosome. A, a flat worm that develop complete its life cycle in the water using water snails as secondary host. Salmonellosis is a, a bacterial disease contacted mostly by drinking contaminated water. So if you want to know whether water is contaminated, you look for uh, salmo salmonella, which is a, 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 a bacteria that causes this disease. Then we have meningitis. Meningitis is a, a bacterial disease which affects both human and animal. 
comma in the north because of heat. Number four, which of these listed diseases above are associated with water? We can say that number one, oncocerciasis is associated with water. Schizosomiasis, number two, is also associated with water. Salmoniosis is also associated with water, number three. So answer is C. Example five. Examples of waterborne disease and sex-linked disease are, as we said earlier on, that diseases are not necessarily caused by germs. Waterborne diseases are caused by germs and sex-linked diseases are inherited from parents. Now, we want to see this question is expecting you to identify option that is having waterborne disease and sex-linked disease. A. Tineasis and malaria. Tineasis is infection of type 1. It's not waterborne disease. Malaria is not even waterborne disease. A is out of question. B. Cholera and gonorrhea. Cholera is waterborne disease, but gonorrhea is sexually transmitted disease. C. Typhoid and syphilis. Typhoid can be waterborne disease, but syphilis is again sexually transmitted disease. D. Dracoculiasis, which is guinea worm, and hemophilia. Guinea worm is waterborne disease. Hemophilia is a, one of the sex linked diseases because the inheritance of this disease uh, find it difficult for, to, for his blood to clot. So it's a sexually linked disease. Answer is D. Dracoculiasis and hemophilia.